Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to be learning the guitar solo from the song Reckless by Glenn Tipton. Uh, this song appears on the Turbo album released in 1986 by Judas Priest. And uh, in my opinion it is Glenn's one of his absolute best solos ever. I was astonished to see that no one has actually broken it down on YouTube or, or had a try, uh, had an attempt at doing so. So uh, first we'll have a look at the solo being played at the speed that Glenn plays it. Uh, and then uh, we will break it down piece by piece and step by step. Um, I hope it's of use to you guys. Uh, without further ado, this is Reckless. So let's begin. Uh, the great thing about this solo is that it almost tells a story. Uh, and before I even start breaking it down, uh, I'd like to explain a little bit about what that is. Rob Halford has just finished telling us that we're blasting out of the atmosphere, of blasting like a rocket through the stratosphere. And that is exactly what Glenn then proceeds to do on the guitar. He actually takes you on a journey from uh, from the ground from the ground up into the stratosphere before screaming back down again um, at the end of the solo. And uh, for me, it's just, uh, it's got so much character and so much uh, so much feel in, in this solo. And my performance there at the beginning of the video is, is, is obviously a, um, a homage to it. And uh, achieving what Glenn really achieves in this is, is, is not easy. Uh, so let's begin. We begin, I like to think, in the cockpit of the jet fighter. Inside the hangar, we're taxiing out onto the runway with this delicious bend, 7 to 9, on the G string. Now, I should point out this guitar is in standard tuning, and the performance at the beginning of the video is standard tuning. Uh, the song itself is recorded in E flat, so if you want to um, perfectly replicate what's on the CD, you need to turn your whole guitar down. Uh, half a step. I probably should have mentioned that at the beginning, but whatever. So section one, let's bend seven to nine and come back down, and it's a gentle step up then to nine ten. Seven nine, and then seven nine ten, sliding nine seven. But they're going to bend eight to ten on the B string. Bend and release, full step. Voice ten nine on the G. Then 10, 12 release on the G. Pluck 9, 7 on the G. Before finally finishing on 0, 5, 7, 5, all hammer and pull on the G. And then 7 on the D. Let's hear it again very, very slowly. So let's go one more time. Seven to nine. Seven, nine, ten. Nine, seven. Eight, bending ten, release. On the beat. Voice ten, nine. Ten, twelve, full and release. Oops. Nine, seven. Oh, five, seven. O oh, five seven five seven. Thank you, Master. One more time, just uh, at speed. Okay, and that's section one. We've now taxied out of the runway. We're beginning to pick up speed. We're, gonna, we're, we're about to drop down to the open A string for the second section. And it begins with 023 hammered on and pulled off again. And the pattern is, the pattern is a little bit funky. We'll, we'll, we'll do it slowly. So 
So it's O, two, three, O, two, three. And then voice two on the D. And then three, two, O, two, three on the A. Before we go too far into the second section, it's worth it just to make a short note out here about the transition from section one to section two. After you've gone 05757, seven, don't linger on that seven. This is something Glenn does through a lot of his solos. He interrupts himself. He doesn't he doesn't let the ear stay there long. He immediately snaps to that 023 a little before the, the beat of the, the bar. So it's so just have a listen to the solo. Have it listen to uh, listen to the way Glenn does it. You can actually um, see the link in the description below uh, to, to, to be able to, to hear uh, the original performance. <coughs> so let's go back to this uh, second movement. O two three O two three. Even that the second movement kind of overwrites, steps over the, the first one. It's a little bit of free time. We then go two on the D. Three, two, oh, two, three. We then go hammering O2 oh, on the D. Two O oh, on the G, pulling on. It's, it's, it's hard to make that, do it all with your index finger and make it not ring. You could go. Uh, we then pluck two, two, twos on the D. Or hammering five two five on the D. So let's hear it from the O two three again. I'm making terrible mistakes this week. O two two. position with your pinky, um, what we want to do is snap our third finger up to the 5 on the G, and it's 5 4 row. Oh, oh. Pluck the 0 again, and then 4 row. 5 4 oh, 4 oh, oh. And the 4. 5 oh, 7 oh, 9 7. And then we're going to begin sliding on that seven. So let's just go from the five four zero again. From the o two three. That's a pull off. And that's the end of section two. And I love that wandering part with that A. And at, at high speed, it just sounds like. It just sounds so busy. It sounds like there's a landscape rushing past as we're in the jet plane, we're taking off of the runway, we're about to blast up into the atmosphere. Uh, as you can now see as we move to section three, which is a bend uh, on 17 on the G string, on the. No, it's not, it's 19. Bending to 21. 19 bending to 21. So it's the, the transition is... And then bending 19 to 21. Let it come down and then voice 17. And then 19, 21. Nine, 19, 17. Pull off. 20 on the D. Sorry, 19 on the G, sorry. 19 pulling off to 17 on the G. Voicing D, uh, stri- voicing the 19 on the D. And then I'm sliding 17, 16 on the G. 19, 17 on the D. So... 19, 17, 19, 17, 16, sliding back, and then voicing 19, 17 on the G. Not very well explained, but hopefully you guys can see what the hell's going on. 
And this is the most, this next bit is the most gorgeous part of the solo where we're up into this, we're truly in the stratosphere at this point where we're sliding after you've made that movement. So, what is that? 15 to 17 on the B. Can see what I'm doing. Um, and then, uh, what is that there? 20 on the E. And you, need, you can sing along if you've know, if you know the solo in your head. I don't need to really tell you the sequence. You can hear it. Now we're going 20 back to 17, and then it's 22 on the B. Pulling off and voicing the 20 on the B, so. Slide from that 17 to the 18 on the B. 18 and 20, oh, that's 18 on the B, 20 on the E. And then 18, 17, 18. 20, 20, and then let that 22 on the B ring out, it might just be one, I like to do it as many times as I can when I'm in there, though. and then you're reaching your index back down to connect with the 15 on the E, and when you're playing it at speed, it's so hard to replicate what Glenn's doing, but the liqui- there's so much liquidity between these notes, there's no... Everything's smooth and liquid. So I like to try and maintain... Try and maintain that ring finger as I'm snapping down to hit the 15 on the E. Easier said than done. And then once you once you establish yourself on that 15 of the E string, it's uh, it's a it's between 15 and 20 on the E string. So it's hammer, hammer and pull twice. You voice the 15 twice. 17 on the E. B. So that's 15 and 20 on the E, 17 on the B, and then finally landing on 17 on the E. 17 on the B 15 20 15 Pull off 20 15 17 on the E And then on 15 we, we, we do a we do a quick sequence of notes. I'm not sure if Glenn is actually doing semi quavers here or but it, it essentially sounds like this. Sliding that at the end. Um so where did we land there? Sorry. Uh, so that's 15. 17, 15 on the B. Hammer that back up, 15, 17. Do it twice. So hammer 15, 17 on the B, and then do it again, but release. Okay, so... <clears throat> so it's 15... And then it's 17 on the G, 17 on the B, 15 on the B, 17 G, 16 on the G, 17 on the D, and slide. Let's hear it again, just slowly. So we now have this part where we're, we're having slid down, slid down the uh, 17 on the D. We now slide straight back up again with our ring finger on the top string. Up to uh, 17 on the top string. And we're then palm muting 14, 15, 17 on the A. And then 14 on the D. Before landing back on the 15 on the A. And then 
17 eh? Just very quickly play 17 and uh, 14 on the D again. And then you need to quickly snap that index finger to 16 on the G. And it's 7, you're hammering to 17 and then voicing 19 on the D. So let's hear that again, beginning of this section as a slowly. You then snap again, it's like a it's like a double movement, he moves his whole hand, he goes bang, bang again, so he's, he's just gone. Do the whole thing again, but it's index finger, uh, you've got to snap your index finger to the 18 on the E. 19 on the E. That's 19, 20. 22 on the B. 19, E. 22. 20. Then back up to 22. Woo! Man. Section 4 again. And then um, section 5 immediately snaps right back down to the bottom. Ring finger on the third fret of the top string. Palm muted, and we're going to do this really running, muddy kind of sounding thing as we start to build up to the final massive bending uh, crescendo thing at the end when the, the, you can picture the jet plane come screaming back down out of the stratosphere into oblivion of some kind. So, having just gone... We now, we now immediately voice that. And it's the, the pattern of this, the rhythm of it is... Which is three O on the three, and then O one two three on the second string, and then O two three on the other string. O one two sorry. Repeat that again from that same position with your ring finger, except it's bum ba dum ba da ba da bum ba. So the first one is the second one is you hit the you hit the you hit that third fret three times and then run it up. I think I voice I do two two open D's two of the D, two of the two on the D. Two of the zero, two of the two. We then go O, one, two again. Two on the G. O, one, three on the B. Let's do that whole thing again. Right, I'll count it out. Bum. Then go uh, voice the open uh, bottom string, and then it's four o five o. Just pull off. And what I actually do is I begin sliding off that five, because once again we have to slide all the way up to finish at the end. So let's just hear this. I don't know if it's section six. Let's just hear it again, nice and slowly. Bum, ba, dum, ba, dum, ba, dum. movement, let's call it section 7 or 8, I don't know what I'm up to now, is we're, uh, we're uh, semi-toning, semi-quavering even, um, uh, the 22 on the bottom string, down to 18 and 17, and it's just that pattern, at blinding speed, and then... 
so that's 17 and 18 hammering and pulling. Voice the 16, and then bend that 16 at the end. <coughs> Back up to the 17. And then, of course, Glenn doesn't rest there, he just does this massive... Massive dive at the end. So, that last very cell section, after, last section is... After you've slid from the 5... Again. So I just wrap my uh, ring finger there over those three strings on the 17. Sometimes I don't even I don't quite catch them all. I only catch the, the top two. Anyway. Um, but now you've heard the um, now you've learned the entire thing. That's the entire solo from uh, Way to Go in terms of my interpretation of it. Um, so I hope it's been of use to you guys. Um, what I would really love this is a second one of these videos that I've done. I'm intentionally picking out um, solos by mostly Judas Priest that have gone uh, without any attention on YouTube. There's already spectacular uh, videos out there for people who want to learn the uh, the really big hits, like for example, Painkiller and stuff. There's just no point in me. Uh, me breaking that down, um, that's already been done by, by people who have, have far more um, capacity than I do to, um, to uh, perform it properly for you at the beginning, but also to, to, to break down the, uh, the sections piece by piece. So Reckless, the previous video was Hot for Love. Both massive, uh, I'm a, fan of, uh, a massive fan of both of these solos, and I'm happy to do more. I would really, though, appreciate any feedback at all, negative, positive, constructive, hatred, uh, any of the above. Uh, let me know what you think in the uh, in the comments, um, and I'll see if uh, if there's enough uptake. I'll uh, continue to continue to do these. Um, I, I really enjoy doing it, um, and yeah, I hope it's a, a useful resource for all you guys. Uh, so enjoy, and I will see you next time. All the best. <laughs>